Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. Well, it is that time whenever a new news article comes out where the subject matter on it is just so gruesome, or in some cases so grotesque, that I definitely just have to share it with everyone here. And in this case, it's a two-for-one because not only does it tie in to a subject matter involving Yellowstone National Park, something that I've also discussed in the past on another video, which I'll talk about more here in a minute, but it also has to do with an animal that I've come across as well and seeing these animals their huge size in person it just made me realize there's no chance when it comes to what was happening to this woman here in this news article I'll include the link for it below there are several other articles that highlight it as well but it has to do with this it's about a woman who was apparently gored multiple times by a bison there in Yellowstone National Park so let's go ahead and let's talk about all all the brief but still important information associated with this and then I'll tie in my experience but yes as far as again uh, my other story the one I covered about two years or so ago I think it was with a gentleman named Colin Scott and he was the one that was there at Yellowstone National Park uh, too but then his unfortunate circumstance was that he fell into one of those acidic pools and then just was basically dissolved away. So I'll include a link for that. I think that's the one that actually started my series. But in this new news article, whenever I had to do with Yellowstone National Park again, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, like these stories will never end when it comes to people doing reckless things uh, with regards to that park. So here's what occurred. Just the other day, there was a 72-year old woman who has so far remained anonymous thankfully because no one really wants to identify her for her reckless act but there on the campgrounds and this is again shortly after it was reopened after some of the COVID-19 type closures it was reopened but just for a limited type of I guess you could call it limited type of tourists that could come in she was there and on the evening of June 25th she was at a campsite called Bridge Bay Campground now those of you that have gone to Yellowstone National Park you might automatically know where this is I have no idea where it's located, but I'll include some of the pictures here of that location. But the whole point was she was visiting from California, presumably again as a tourist, and then that's when she saw a bison coming across the campground. This bison was obviously very large and it was moving about. The whole notion is, and the way that the, um, the, the people there at Yellowstone State, you must stay within a certain number of feet away from the bison. Bison. Not only that, I mean, it's usually advised about 25 yards away. Not only that, but you're supposed to move in conjunction with them. Meaning, if you stay 25 yards away and then suddenly they start moving in closer, obviously you're supposed to move away as well. Well, for whatever reason, that this woman, this anonymous woman, decided to get closer. She wanted to, of course take a picture of it. Sounds familiar, right? Like when it comes to some of the other stories that I've covered here. She wanted to take either a picture or maybe even a selfie. And as she was doing so, the bison was apparently giving some kind of indications. In fact, Here's one of the statements from Yellowstone's senior bison biologist by the name of Chris Jeremia. I think I'm saying that last name correctly. They say that bison usually display aggressive behaviors such as pawing on the ground, snorting, bobbing their head, bellowing, and then raising that tail. And then if that doesn't allow someone to get the hint, like when it comes to the bison's intention, then that's when they charge. So presumably this is the same thing that the bison was doing to the 72 year old woman but she was either seeing it and ignoring it or seeing it and not knowing exactly what it meant and then when she was within about 10 feet of the bison can you imagine at 10 feet uh, probably what's that like the distance of a truck or so and when she was within that time that's when this bison just charged right at her and then of course it ended up hitting her multiple times in fact I was trying to get more details about to what occurred but a lot of the information has remained anonymous on that part too the closest that I could get was that this bison and its horns gored her multiple times apparently around the midsection if I'm not mistaken although I thought I read in one of the other articles that it happened to be around her face too but it gored her multiple times as she was trying to take that picture and then presumably the bison left like right after once it realized that there was no other type of threat associated to it 
and then it just moved away and then that was it obviously this was a huge trauma to this anonymous woman park rangers were immediately on board they administered first aid uh, they described her as having multiple wounds based on the attack that the bison gave and then they had this woman lifted or moved into some other area called eastern idaho regional medical center i'm guessing that they drove to a certain location and then they took her by helicopter is the way i was reading it and then when that happened that's when her condition so far has not been disclosed but she still remains there at this very time so think about that like in this case you had this woman get to less than 10 feet of this gigantic animal which by the way bison still remain the largest land mammals here in the united states and here she was trying to take a picture of it and then it of course gave as many indications as possible and then that's when it charged oh, what a way to go like when it comes to that stuff thankfully nothing happened to her but it was such foolishness such a recklessness when it comes to that part and then apparently this was not just the only incident that just recently occurred apparently just last week the one week before this incident involving the 72 year old woman just the other week a 37 year old woman she suffered an injury when she was attacked by a female grizzly bear now this one i read a little bit more information on i can't really tell if this was really her fault or not like obviously with the previous story and then also with colin's story those were definitely at their fault here though this 37 year old woman she was simply uh hiking along a trail the way i was reading it like it was an early morning run or jog throughout it and then all of a sudden she came across a female grizzly and apparently this grizzly had two little grizzlies next to it as well and so this bear attacked her knocked her down ended up scratching her thigh and then also her face before she had a chance to take out wisely she had with her some uh, bear repellent and then when uh, she used that on the bear then that's when it went away but I don't know again how much of it is the fault of the woman because that could be one of those situations where they come around the corner like all of a sudden uh, there's a patch of trees and you're running around it and then boom there's that giant bear with those two little grizzly bears uh, presumably the little cubs right there as well in fact the way i was reading some of the information it states that if you're going to do any running there in yellowstone park that you have to do it in groups it's recommended in other words or that you have something like a noise of some kind like i imagine you could probably play music loud while you're running or you could have something tied to you some metal clanking thing whatever is the case something that would give a noise and then that way these animals will know 100 percent that they're that you're coming across to their location too and then not only that but last year there was this incident how about that when it comes to another one involving a bison there was a girl and a family that were there apparently they were from florida they were on a tour and as they were on a tour they came across a bison i couldn't find more information on this one like in terms of what happened like was the tour right there and they decided to creep up on the bison i don't think that was the case because most tours obviously will try to stay away from anything involving a dangerous situation in fact they'll they'll make sure that people even if they want to act reckless you know the tour guides there will make sure that people will not be able to do so but here it seemed like all of a sudden they were there and then that's when the bison was there as well and then that's when it charged against the young girl and it flipped her in the air as you can see in the this picture and this again happened last year around July 2019 thankfully though everything was okay with regards to the young girl but it goes to show the power associated with these bison and here it was like um, a, a young girl and there, uh, the young girl is being tossed in the air, just like a rag doll. And that, as far as my own experience, I wanted to share this. So again, thankfully, I've never had anything wrong or anything bad happen with bison. But I was there at Arizona last year. Was, uh, the time period, I think it was around early last year or so. And as I was there, I was there to see a bunch of those bears. Hence why it's called Arizona. But I was surprised to see bison. It was the first time I had ever seen these beautiful animals in person. Person. never seen them before obviously on movies i've seen them there on tv shows 
but never in real life. And I was just stunned at the size of them. You have to see them in person in order to truly understand their mass. I'll include some pictures of it. I'll also include the link below because I did a live stream associated with my trip there to Arizona. And if you want to check it out, um, I'll include the link. And then that way you too can see just how large these animals are. But as we were going there in Arizona, we hopped on a bus. And then this bus went around several areas. And one of them was the campground where the bison were at. And there was three bison. One of them was the largest one who was just sitting down just laying about and then as, the, as it saw the bus come around it got up and we were all like in awe like you could hear some of us almost visibly gasp at the size of this thing when it got up it must have realized that that whenever there's a car or something else coming up that it's feeding time because apparently there in Arizona that's how essentially they get fed they get fed by the food that's passed out from the, uh, the, the people that work there from their cars. So they go there to those campgrounds and then they drive around and then they give food to the animals when it's their particular time. So by instinct, these bison must have been able to do that, not realizing that we're just a tour bus. But there it was slowly walking towards us. And I was just amazed again at the sheer size, the mass that this animal had. By far the biggest thing to me that shocked me was the size of its head. Its head was gigantic. I was reading more information on it. These things can be as tall as six feet tall. It can weigh several thousand pounds. And again, it remains the largest mammal within the United States. So imagine that. Imagine something this large, as you'll see in the pictures here. I'm on a big bus. It's kind of dwarfing it a little bit, but you have to have seen it in a person. And then here, this 72-year-old woman, going back to the original story, was essentially trying to play selfie time with these animals. Crazy stuff. It just goes to show, I mean, give it another six months and there'll be another story uh, from Yellowstone National Park that I'll probably have to cover here. But in any case, check out the links below when you have a chance. My other gruesome and grotesque story with Colin's unfortunate tale and then also my Barizona link below if you wanted to get a true chance to see as close as possible of what these animals look like. But if anyone else has seen a bison in person, maybe at a park or anywhere else, please let me know. I would not be that brave or foolish enough to try to get close to them, no matter what campground I'm at. I'm definitely moving away from these animals because I forgot to mention, oh yeah, they can go up to 35 miles an hour too in terms of speed. And I think that's actually faster than most people can even run at their max. So anyways, but if anybody has more experiences, let me know. Thanks again as always. Take care.